common liberalist first began to emerge with the revolutions both in England and in the United States. It has since spread immensely. Populations are frequently found in North America, South America, Australia, and Europe, with less frequent occurrences of the common liberalist in Asia. Libertas Patronus can often be found voting in elections, voicing its opinions, and paying taxes. Its natural enemies are any sort of radical. Too far left or too far right, neither does it find agreeable. Occasionally, conflicts may arise between the subspecies of the common liberalist. The common liberalist tends to have a fairly average appearance. It likes things in moderation. The furthest left subspecies is Libertas Socialis. Though its looks generally do not differ from the norm, it likes to wear more red. Sharing property is a distinguishable habit. This subspecies travels and resides in large herds, mostly in Asia and parts of Europe. Higher taxes are often paid by the socialist, and in return, it receives more government services. The socialist does not play well with the conservative. Centermost subspecies is Libertas Libertas, more commonly known as the Big L Liberal. It is most frequently found in Canada, the United Kingdom, and Australia. The smaller herds have been observed in the US. It will share some property, but not to the extent of its leftist cousins. The Big L Liberal is fairly agreeable with all subspecies. Furthest right, but not least, is Libertus Conservatus. Its appearance differs from the norm through its frequent donning of blue apparel. The conservative earns its property by working for it and is quite unwilling to share. It lives in the smallest herds, occasionally even going solo. While it is most highly concentrated in the US, it can also be found in parts of Canada. The taxes it pays are minimal, as are its government-provided benefits. It does not coexist with Libertas Socialis. For the complete story of the Liberalist, why not contact the Canadian Wildlife Association?